Have you ever noticed that whenever you're giving a presentation, that a lot of speakers would often go up and start introducing themselves and start thanking each and every honorable member that is in attendance? I want you to be able to avoid that because one of the most powerful ways you can open your speech is through using what's called hooks. Now, what are hooks? Hooks are easy way to entice the audience to get an understanding as to what is expected to come. It links very nicely with the body of your presentation. And there are three types of hooks in which we'll express. One which is called a statement hook. Secondly, which is what's called a shock hook. And thirdly, a curiosity hook. Now, what is a statement hook? A statement hook is when you're going up on stage and introducing the body of the presentation through one simple, very short sentence and it entices the audience to want to hear more. So to give you an example of what a statement hook is, free education should be made accessible to every child in the world. Now that's a statement hook. Why? So one short statement in which I made for an event I delivered a few years ago, where people in attendance wanted to hear something about education and how technology can harness the power of education even when delivered virtually. So you see, this statement opened and introduced the context of what is to come. So whenever you're making a statement or using a statement hook, I want you to make a statement in a way that it links with the body of your presentation. So don't go about delivering a statement that doesn't actually have any correlation. So keep that in mind. And statement hooks are somewhat personal to your own beliefs and the own way of, of doing things and what you believe and what you're going to share. So keep that in mind. Secondly, shock hooks. Now shock hooks are quite interesting because whenever you see somebody going up onto stage, you often have a genuine first impression of them. So to give you an example, I was attending an event where there was a, a teenager who was about to give a speech. He looked very shy, very nervous, and probably was his first speech he was giving. And obviously immediately I had a first interpretation in my mind as to what I think he will be like or what he's going to say because he looked very shy and nervous but when he spoke on stage his hook right from the offset as I said he didn't introduce himself he used what's called a shock hook to give you an example of this shock hook I was 18 years old it was the first time I had blood on my hands as death looked me in the face three times rather gory isn't it when an 18 year old lad is going up onto a stage and speaking and saying those words as his opening statement as part of his introduction to his speech. It took us all by complete surprise. And to be fair, everyone has that their first impression of a speaker, whether you're a guest speaker or member of the audience, you have a first impression of whoever you're meeting. And my first impression of him was that nervous, innocent looking child who's going to go and deliver his speech. But all of a sudden to make those statements and to say that he had blood on his hand, he looked death in the face three times, his speech, the body of his speech was actually all about him climbing Mount Kilimanjaro and the effort it took for him to reach there, how he slipped and fell three times, but he didn't give up. You see, even his shock hook connects with the body of his speech. So I want you to think about that as well. Make it very personal. Make it something that can engage the audience right from the offset, whether it's a statement hook, whether it's a shock hook, but make it sure it's appealing and gets them really enticed to want to listen to more. The third hook is what's called a curiosity hook. Now to give you an example of what is a curiosity hook, after 13 years of grueling travel, non-stop events and a broken voice, I finally found out the secret formula that makes an ordinary man's heart sing. Now that was a curiosity hook which I used for a session I delivered as part of the Build Your Confidence On Stage training program to a group of students who attended. And it got them on the edge of the seat because they're curious to want to learn more. And in fact, majority of the people in attendance were male at that time. So what makes a man's heart sing? So it was really quite interesting for them to get that perspective, to understand that I've traveled the world, I've seen a lot of things in a lot of places, eaten a lot of stuff, but it was the idea of food. That when my wife makes food, it really does entice me and really brings me, you know, makes my heart sing. So it was simple things like that. Again, it connects with the body of the speech in which I was delivering at that time, a very short message. But what a curiosity hook does is doesn't give away everything. It almost leaves your audience at the point of suspense before you dig into the core aspect of your speech. And that's how you open speeches with hooks. 
Hooks are very powerful, very enticing, and it takes away that usual ordinary element in which a lot of speakers do when they go up and start introducing themselves. Hi, I'm Sabir Islam, I'm a motivational speaker, and so and so. And you want to avoid all of that because A, it's boring, the MC has probably already introduced you, and the audience are there to, to gain something. You're, at, you're there to add value. So make sure you're able to learn how to open a speech with hooks that's powerful, enticing, and can be a rewarding experience for both you and the audience in attendance.